Hey everyone, this is Poji Joe, and I had a couple minutes in between classes, so I thought I would talk a little bit about something that's uh, been concerning a lot of YouTubers, such as myself. And the question is, where where are the views gone? I think a very simple answer to this is Facebook. Facebook did always have an inbuilt video feature for their website, but they've really amped up their game because first of all, when you upload a video now to Facebook, it auto plays play like the first couple seconds or whatever as you are scrolling through your feed and it counts that as a view like three seconds we're on YouTube but you have to watch like 30 seconds of like a longer video to have it count as a view the second thing they did is that now they push Facebook videos way before YouTube videos so you're much much more likely to see one of their own inbuilt videos as opposed to Facebook the reason this kind of sucks though is because Facebook doesn't really have any features that really entice creators such as myself like they don't have advertising they don't have a good way to flag videos that are um, stolen from other people and that's why you see so many stolen videos on Facebook all the time. They don't really have a whole lot to, in terms of designing video pages on Facebook so it's a little disappointing. I do think it's good for, uh, for YouTube to have competitors but I was hoping it would be a competitor that would offer more things to the people who are actually creating these videos. Now, I'm not saying that we are owed anything for what we do. But it's just kind of sad when you see people who actually do make their entire livings off of YouTube uh, get their videos stolen on Facebook and don't get as many views or don't get as much money from the hard work that they put into those things. YouTube's over 10 years old now, you know, it's an aging platform and sometimes they do things to try to entice uh, a fresh kind of feeling to the site but oftentimes it feels a little stagnant sometimes and they don't give the creators a lot of the things that they actually want and instead give them a lot of BS things that no one really wants. So I think between those two things, oh and just the fact that there's 300 hours of uh, video uploaded every minute I believe on YouTube, that's absolutely crazy. There's just so much on there. It's just massive. So it's, it's gonna be almost impossible to try to find um, any sort of particular new channel because there's just so many of them. I guess that's why it's important that I call myself a video creator and not a YouTuber anymore because YouTube, the way it's going, you never know what might actually happen. It's still like, it's still got the legacy to it. It's still got more than any other platform, but over time, what if something like Facebook or something else actually steals the thunder and then YouTube's in second place? So that's why I upload my videos directly to Facebook now as opposed to just YouTube because I want to make sure that my video is getting seen and I often get five to ten times more views on Facebook which as I explained before is really dis like disappointing that it goes that way but I want to keep creating videos so that's how you got to play the game anymore I guess. And if you want to check out my Facebook page you can follow it here. Anyway, Facebook give more options for creators and we would love to keep on creating stuff for you. But otherwise, at least for me, I'm still going to be a little hesitant. If any of you are creators out there, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter, so. Anyhow, here is the Cleveland skyline shot. Ooh, so pretty. Whoa. Okay, I gotta get to class.